Namaste everyone and welcome to our practice. This practice is specifically targeted at preparing the body for rest. This can be done anytime you need a break, but it's specifically um, a nice practice for just before you go to bed. So we're looking at about a 20 to 25 minute restful restorative practice. We call this our bedtime yoga tonic. So for this practice, we'll be using a few different props that we recommend having. A couple blankets, um, a couple pillows, a strap or a belt. And if you do have that strap or belt, uh, looping it up is a great option. And this will just be um, something to help us for our final posture when we take our rest. So you will wanna have at least one blanket to sit on to get started and a blanket rolled up that we will show you how to roll up, as well as at least one, if not two pillows. So go ahead and make your space. Take a moment. Take just a second here to get comfortable. Grab any layers you would like for this practice. Stay warm and stay comfortable. And if you would like to, go ahead and start any music you would like to use for this practice. Let's get into just opening up the body a little bit. So we're going to work into stretching the neck. Please take your right hand on to just gently the left temple. Bring your left fingertips at your left side and drop your right ear toward the right shoulder. Now you can just keep the ear dropping heavy toward the shoulder or you can move the chin gently up and down couple times just to release some leftover tension from your day in the neck. And just enjoy, just take a couple of breaths here. And then lift the head slowly and we'll release. Take the left hand over to the right temple and very gently drop left ear toward the left shoulder. Keep the right fingertips at your side. Let the chin drop. Move the head in any direction that feels good. A couple moments again just to feel this out here. Stay soft in your shoulders. Relax the gaze, relax the eyes. And then gently lift up and lower your hand. Stay seated. Go ahead and turn your ribs over your right leg and reach your arms out, just taking a little forward fold. So as you reach over the right thigh, send the left arm out just a little bit longer. Draw back through the left hip. Take a deep breath, sending it in toward your left side waist. Stay low to the earth. Slide your hand slowly through center, bringing your torso over the shins, and then sweep the arms over your left leg, folding now over the left thigh. Take a moment here, stretching the right arm and the left arm out. Get a little bit longer through the right side waist. A couple deep breaths here as you pull the hip back. And then slowly move it back to center. Come on up onto your hands and we'll come forward into our table pose. So if you love a, a blanket to prop up under the knees, go ahead. Let's lift the chest here and then around your back and drop your gaze. And then inhale again, lift your chest and just arch the back, very minor. The exhale, round your back, hug in. And just slowly and very subtle, one more time, lift your chest and arch your back. The exhale, round now. We're gonna change it up. Start to barrel roll the ribs to your left. Arch it up, barrel roll the ribs to the right. 
do it a couple more times. Full barrel roll in the chest from left to right, all the way up. Stay with it one or two more times. Any tension you're feeling in the ribs and the spine, go in the opposite direction two, three, or four times. Again, if you're feeling this in the outer hip or you need a little extra stretch in the shoulders or you need to stay in one position or the other for a moment, please feel free. And then come on back to center. Nice. We're going to work into a little threaded needle here. So keep your left hand to the floor, stretch your right arm up to the sky, and then thread the needle, bring the right arm under your left, and simply walk the left fingertips away from the face. This doesn't have to be a huge stretch. Again, moving away from the idea of vinyasa flow and really strong practice. This is about soothing the body, getting yourself in a position where you are down-regulating the nervous system, preparing for the rest and digest systems of our body. Minor twist here, just take another breath. And then walk the hands back, unwind. Let's send the right arm back to the ceiling one more time and release the hand. And inhale, stretch your left arm up. Same thing, opposite side. Thread the needle. Come on down, stretch the right fingertips away from the face just a little bit more. Again, no rush here. No huge active stretch. Just welcome this to be passive release. Relaxing on that side of the face, keeping the hips high. A couple deep breaths here and a threaded needle. Start to walk the fingertips back. Unwind. Let's send the left arm back to the ceiling again one more time. Big reach. And then lower the hand. Keep the knees on your blanket, separate the knees a little bit wider, relax the tops of the feet, sit the hips back and do a nice wide child's pose and sink down, stretch the arms forward. And I welcome you here to bend your elbows and place the hands to the nape of the neck. And you can keep this very simple, placing the hands on top of one another at the back of the skull, feeling a sense of grounding. Right, or taking the palms together, thumbs to nape of the neck might feel good. If you're feeling any discomfort here on the shoulder, please release just to straight arms. Let the weight of your hips drop back. Just sink into earth a little bit. Let the eyes be heavy. The fingertips flow back down to the floor. Lift your forehead and stretch the arms to your right side. Gentle side bend here in your child's pose. Inhale back to center and over to your left side. And gently pull back. Hips to heels. And then come on back to center. We're going to lift up. We're going to take a longer held um, gentle back bend. So here's where we want to grab our rolled up blanket. And this isn't a perfect science. We just want to make a kind of a, a little sausage roll is what we call it with our blanket. And this is going to go at the top of your mat. You're going to see us turn around here. And you can keep another blanket under your hips if that feels comfortable. What we want to do is to place that rolled up blanket uh, right about across the back of your shoulder blades. So we're looking for it to land just at the very bottom of like the armpit. And this again should be very unique to each one of you. So if you need to adjust it lower or higher, um, this will give you a sort of a deep sensation of back bend. 
um, generally right away. You might take to this very easily. This might be more challenging for some of you. It's important for the back to have this space, especially if we spend a lot of our day forward bending or rounding our back, gazing at computers and phones and other digital devices. Letting yourself having this space, this freedom across the chest is gonna be important for the back muscles and the front of the chest. So arms can go out to a T and just let the eyes close. If you do have a piece of clothing or even an eye pillow that you would like to place over the eyes, uh, just might be nice to allow yourself that time to close in a little bit. Knees can stay bent or the legs can straighten all the way forward. Breathe into this space. Imagining this very cool sensation rolling all the way up your spine as if it starts from the base of your spine and like soft, cool liquid draws all the way up the spinal column, bringing relief all the way up through each vertebrae and across the upper back. Imagine with that, the ability to drop in and to enjoy the sensation of heaviness. Let the arm bones drop. A couple more breaths. And from here, we're gonna just start to release and move into a twist. So you can stay with your back on your blanket or you can just roll your body down so the blanket goes behind your neck. Please roll all the way on to your left side. And then take your palms on top of one another. Reach your right arm all the way up and open to your right like you're opening a book. The knees will stay to your left. And you can just keep your gaze up toward the ceiling or turn the gaze over your right shoulder. So again, this might feel great to have the blanket underneath your upper back or it might feel better to have the blanket supporting your neck instead. Both are correct. Soften the outer hip. Soften the outer ribs. Soften across the shoulders. Soften the jaw. Soften the third eye. Now just let your knees come back to center and very easily roll on your back. Roll all the way now onto your right side. Stack your palm on top of one another. And send your left arm all the way up toward the ceiling like you're opening a book. Sweep your left arm over to your left side. Gaze can be up. Or gaze can be across the left shoulder. Imagine from the middle of your body, the sense of lightness as it reaches out through the arms, lengthening across the arm structures and into your hands. From the navel across your ribs and from the hips spreading out through into the legs. Take another couple rounds of breath here. Enjoy a sensation of moving into stillness. Roll 
the knees back up to center, hips back. And then we're going to transition. So just roll on to one side and press up to a seated posture. So this is where a pillow comes in handy. We're gonna do a little bit of adjusting with our props. So we are gonna work into a pigeon pose, but this is more of a supported pigeon. So this should be a little more comfortable. You'll wanna take a blanket and just kind of fold it the long way. Okay, you'll see in a moment. And we're gonna take that bolster and as it comes in front of the body, we're actually gonna take the bolster uh, horizontal across the side of the mat. And so um, it's gonna be just in front of the knees, um, the sort of horizontal way across your mat. And you'll see an option to either do this with or without blankets. You'll see a blanket right in front of me. You're gonna step your left foot forward and just go ahead and, and toe heel it over, sitting your hips onto that bolster. Okay, and again, pull the bolster where you need it to be to, to prop up your uh, left hip as you need to in the back. And then prop up the chest with any amount of blankets or if you have another pillow, go ahead and, and place the pillow down as well. And let your ribs fall onto your props or onto earth if that feels best. This should feel like just slightly reduced tension in your pigeon pose. And if you can, let the shoulders relax, soften here. We're not here in a very long pigeon, but enough just to help open the hips. Bring your attention into the low back. And again, the sensation of heaviness and of grounding. The sacrum, the bony structure, the keystone bone of the pelvic girdle in the back. Imagine the sense of weight right on that sacrum. Imagine that weight spreading out across the left and right hip. And that gentle weight drawing up the spine. Go ahead and lift the chest. Start to slide the left leg back into table pose. Readjust your bolster. And we'll do the same with the right leg, bringing it forward and toe healing the foot over to your left. Adjust and readjust your blankets and pillows as you like them. And let yourself come on back down. Again, another moment here to come back into that safe sensation of heaviness. Go back into the low back one more time. And instead of weight on your back, imagine a sense of pull on the front of the body, dropping you down into your props, connecting you and offering a sense of support. Imagine this ability to welcome being cradled by your props. Let the breathing start to slow down just a little more. As you trust in this practice and in this process, it starts to increase and you welcome any amounts of rest that you're feeling. Take the hands back, press onto straight arms, and we're gonna release. So let's come to seated and let's go ahead and readjust our props for our final posture. And this is gonna be a legs at the wall. So I'd like you to take your mat up to a wall or uh, the headboard of your bed, anywhere where you can put your legs up. This can even be done uh, if you're up against the couch or a chair with your legs just up at that chair. 
So I want to make the blankets again in sort of a long uh, shape. And then a second blanket is essentially going to be your pillow. You're going to slide your pillow or bolster about six inches up away from the wall. That would say three to six inches away from the wall. And you're going to bring a vertical blanket up against your bolster and a horizontal blanket crossing it. And grab onto that strap or your belt. You're going to sit on top of your bolster. This takes a little finesse. So you're going to put your hip up against the wall on your bolster and then gently lower yourself down so your spine is laying down lengthwise on one of the blankets, the vertical blanket, while your head is now supported by that extra horizontal blanket or pillow. Scooch the hips as you need to. So if you need to scoot your hips closer or further away, take your elbows, press them into the earth, and just lift and scoot your hips forward or back. And then with either a strap or a, a tie or a belt, you can take that around the lower thigh. Okay, Make it taut enough that your legs can rest against it, but loose enough that they you have about a foot or two in between your feet. So your legs can just kind of relax against that strap. And the strap is not required. Legs at the wall can be done without it. So if you don't have it, don't worry. Just enjoy legs at the wall. If you need uh, another blanket to cover up the body, you can grab another blanket. You can use a towel or a piece of clothing to cover up the eyes. There is no rush here. What we're going to do is welcome this as a, our final posture. This video will come to a close and I will encourage you to stay at legs at the wall on your own for at least eight to 10 minutes if you can. If you have the time, 10, 15, even 20 minutes might be really wonderful. Stay as long as you can. Let yourself relax here. Again, welcome that ease and that sense of grounding. Take this for as long as feels good and let yourself enjoy this release into bed. We hope that this gives you rest, gives you peace, and encourages you to release our hearts into each of yours. Sleep well. Namaste.